Unlike the NFL, a loss or two in college football can mean the difference between playing in the Orange Bowl in Miami or the Russell Athletic Bowl in Orlando. And trust me, this is something that Virginia Tech coach Frank Beamer will be thinking about Thursday night when his Hokies take on Georgia Tech down in Atlanta. Hi, everybody. I'm Bruce Rader. Welcome to the Sports Wrap Live on this Tuesday night. Short week for Virginia Tech, who needed triple overtime to beat Marshall last weekend. The Hokies will open their ACC schedule on national television Thursday against Georgia Tech. This is always a big game for both teams, and why not? Either the Hokies or Georgia Tech have won the Coastal Division every single year and one of the two teams have advanced to all eight ACC championship games. Now, the Yellow Jackets are already off to a 2-0 conference start. Virginia Tech's defense, well, they're playing well, but they're still suffering growing pains on that hokey offense. We're still, we're still learning and how quickly we become uh, consistent and efficient, that'll tell Tell us, uh, you know, how our year is going. This young tech team is three and one. They're only lost to number one Alabama, but a win in Atlanta Thursday night. Boy, would that be nice. All right, this sounds a little strange. Virginia travels to Heinz Field this weekend to take on Pittsburgh in an ACC Coastal Division matchup. That's right, Pittsburgh now in the ACC. It's UVA's first conference game. Pittsburgh is 2-1, and 1-1 one. One and one in the conference. They score a lot of points. Virginia routed VMI 49 to nothing last week, but it's always tough playing on the road. I believe that, you know, when you go to a away game, you know, you're, you're, you're the villain out there, and you only got to rely on your teammates. So it's going to be a chance for our team to come together and, you know, play together and be a unit. Demetrius Nicholson from Bayside High School in Virginia Beach. Boy, is he good. He and his backfield will have their hands full against Pittsburgh on Saturday.